Okay, welcome back to part two, I guess. Didn't really want to make this, but the player, like the recording software, closed after I unlocked the mod organizer. <laughs> but yeah, so just so you know, I'm using Fallout 4 Enhanced Edition. That's also a good title to call the playthrough, I guess. A hardcore RPG Fallout 4 mod list made with Horizon from Arc Speed. As you can see, 27 January 2020. Got some stuff in here like the patches and stuff um yeah when you scroll down you're gonna see like big mods included like south of the sea that i didn't really get to explore last time and then you see the manual installation and you see everything here that you need to do that you can do audio mods weapon mods that's all listed right um so that's that the this is all done here as you can see 238 mods instead of 197 I think is the base point so now yeah, there's everything here let me just scroll down and you can pause if you want to check something but before I do that let me slide the mod list to the right so you can see the names better okay so if you want to pause now you have the time. I'm gonna scroll down, stop it, scroll down, stop a bit, scroll down, stop a bit, and scroll down. Okay, that's that. The red stuff that you see here is basically just because of patches and stuff. It looks a little bit weird, right? Um, but it's all in order. I think when I look at this, I think some stuff that he didn't have in, that I put in, not even sure if I can find it, um, I think I put in like lots uh, the male hairstyles, more facial hair for ma males, uh, the Ponelta hairstyles, KS Herdos of course, Valentine Reborn, Platinum Curie, stuff like that, Cam Commonwealth Cuts, even though a lot of, like 80% of them look weird as fuck. If you want to use them for females, looks menu, of course, that's from him. And then, of course, we have shit ton of weapons. Like, some of these are from him. And then I put a shit ton of other stuff in, right, that is either supported or not. I think, like, 90% of the weapons I put in, beside the stuff that Ork suggested, is supported by Horizon and some other stuff that I don't know. Uh, it's probably not supported so the damage is weird but most of these weapons if you not know it they have a damage modifier um, like a little I don't even I played the game so long like not what, what is it called like just a damage modifier basically in the weapon settings right and you can slide it to the left or right if it want if it needs to do minus or plus damage um, but yeah, added a lot of stuff, then some um, armor stuff, but nothing too slutty. Basically just some Nero's stuff, uh, VTAWs, wardrobes and utility pack. That's quite good. When I look through this, radioactive signs I put in. I hope they don't do problems, because that's just signs. And then you see here the three bots that are going to be very interesting. Depravity, Project Valkyrie and Outcast and Remnants. Um, yeah, a lot of immersive stuff. It's going to be interesting since you can't jump that high anymore and you cannot, like, fall velocity is like times three. So, yeah. Yeah, silent protagonist and the patch compilation for silent protagonist. At least silent protagonist is supported, I think, and outcast and remnants, stuff like that, I think. If not, it's not that bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I put this mod in. It's a teeth mod, the best one I think for Fallout 4. Makes characters expressions better, since you see the teeth and stuff. Um, put I put my own <laughs> um, Ellen, the cartographer overhaul in because I don't want to use Heather this time, so I put in Ellen. The overhaul I need to, since it's only the preset, I need to apply it manually to her and adjust it. Um, because I used some mod some mods with that preset that don't exist in this playthrough. 
so it got, it's gonna be probably look a little bit weird so either I have to scrap it completely or redo it but yeah and when I go and I know for sure hey next episode we are gonna see Kate I, I need to see if I get to if I get my mod red Kate um, to work because I actually <laughs> really like that look on her um, beside that yeah all the patches it's like all like patches for Horizon and stuff all in order otherwise but yeah so as you see Ark made a really freaking amazing mod list since I actually it's the first time ever like the game started up immediately without any crashes or hiccups the loading times weren't that bad and the game didn't have any errors or warnings in the beginning that's pretty amazing you know and all the settings worked and the buttons and the shortcuts so basically I have never seen such a well worked mod list before it's also pretty fucking well explained but yeah I think that's it keep it short basically if you he have any questions go on to his mod page uh, go on to his mod page and see what's going on there's also his discord where you can go on there's like a couple of people that are gonna help you if you have questions before you're gonna download his stuff or if you want to do extra mods and have questions about compatibility you can go there and tomorrow we are basically gonna start a playthrough with this it's not gonna be immersive like no not immersive it's not gonna be an RP playthrough it's gonna be a mix you know like gopher does it you know sometimes like I'm gonna be normal like oh the damage on this weapon is not that high or I can be a little bit RP you know and be surprised by stuff and react to it stuff like that but what I can tell you definitely what the playthrough is not gonna be um, I'm not gonna be screaming around and overreacting and shit like that so that's gonna be a no-no um, but yeah I, I try to keep the episode length to at least 25-30 minutes um, so it's more digestible I think that's the word but yeah thanks for watching and I see you guys in a couple of hours bye